Wow, that just got really serious really fast. Let me have some more cauliflower. So I'm, I'm eating, I'm actually going to film a video and a podcast, but I had to eat first because I just got out of dance class. But have you seen that movie with, um, what's that girl from Bridesmaids? She's like super funny, SNL. I want to call her Anne, but that's not her name. Um, she totally looks like an Anne. Anyways, um, shoot, it's right on the tip of my tongue. So, she did this movie where she won the lottery and she's like kind of mentally not there. And she wanted to do a daytime television show. I think it's called like It's Really Me or something. Where it was just eight, like eight hours of her. Or maybe like an hour of her just like living life. And she spent like five minutes of on time air like eating that's me right now I have cauliflower gnocchi and cauliflower rice so basically I'm just eating cauliflower for lunch which I didn't really quite think that through have you ever noticed that cauliflower kind of smells like fish not the um not like a head of cauliflower, I eat cauliflower a lot, but like these, these like fake cauliflower products always kind of taste like fish. I don't think I'm going to do this gnocchi again. I think this is the type, so I, I don't really eat pasta, but I just wanted something really quick because um, I need to film and I just needed the food in my stomach. So it's really easy, but... This is the kind of meal that you really need to like dress up with something. And I'm super plain Jane when I eat. I do not dress things up. So, the olive oil and Malden salt, you're just not cutting it. I got an X, X text today. Not an X sext, but an X text today, actually through Facebook message. And while I was cooking, I realized that I just clearly understood, uh, I think it's Maya Angelou. Oprah often says that her, like the best piece of advice that she's ever gotten was from her friend Maya Angelou. And it's, if somebody shows you who they are the first time, believe them. This ex is somebody who showed me who they were like very, very early, but I am one of those people who always gives um, people the benefit of the doubt. Like, oh, maybe they're not exactly like that. But um, after this relationship is when I decided to really follow that advice. But I didn't really, it didn't really come into mind the way that An Maya Angelou put it. Basically, if you, how you do one thing is how you do everything. You hear that a lot in the business community, right? How you do, like, how you handle a situation is how you'll handle any type of similar situ situation. If you, like, pause and take a deep breath and think about it and think about where the other person is coming from, then that's normally, like, your normal habit. But if you go into blame or rage or depression, then you're probably like most likely a depressed person. Hang on, let me get that. I'm like totally having deja vu right now. One sec. Actually, let me get some food. Cauliflower rice is good. I think if you do it like fried rice too, it's like pretty delicious. I hope I remember where I left off. My favorite thing about living, well, one of my favorite things about living in New York is that I never have to do laundry. It's always picked up and then it's delivered. But my door doesn't buzz like a normal New York apartment door. 
and sometimes it doesn't even unlock so I just had to run down the stairs and then run back up so I could give the guy my laundry I think I was talking about Oprah, Oprah's first like best piece of advice I really just understood that right now because it's the power of habit and how people act and react and people can try to tell you like oh they're not normally like that or whatever but there's something deep down inside of you that like is triggered like a red flag and and instead of somebody telling you how they are or not you just need to observe them and if somebody tries to tell you who you are or who they are instead of observing and then accepting like totally just run the under other direction as fast as possible um, that's this person and I've dated so many guys that I can pretty much identify them and how they're going to be within like you know like the first few dates um, sometimes even sooner but the first red flag was this guy took me out introduced me to his friends um, we were in a different country <laughs> if he sees this he'll probably know who he is and yeah the first red flag was that he was he got uh, upset because I wasn't very talkative and I'm the kind of person that's like really okay with silence I love to have fun I'm very easygoing and this just really rubbed me the wrong way because I dated another guy who always used to judge me for how I was acting and behaving and sometimes it would upset him and yes I've been in a lot of these types of really relationships that was the first red flag but yeah if somebody tries to tell you who you are we're so we are multi-dimensional we are different at different times I know that's weird because then I talk about the power of habit and responding in certain ways but the more you run into people and observe them the more you'll know what a one-off situation is where they're flexible and what their actual values are if they even have values and how they behave in certain ways usually how I tell is how I feel when I'm around them if I feel judged I know at this point that I'm not, um, I'm very strong, and so if I'm getting that feeling, I'm, it's not, it's almost like a don't go there. It's like a don't cross this boundary, um, just kind of like remove yourself and choose a different partner or even just be alone because being alone is better than being with people who try to drag you down. I don't know, the other thing that came to mind was when, um, people when you're dating usually it's like you put your best face forward for a little while and then you like because you want to you want to show all your good parts but when something like that comes up very quickly and it affects you it's usually not it's not you it's the other person so I think a lot of people will find a lot of people like me will find this video and um, I tend to doubt myself I tend to go back to like I question myself a lot and I'm learning to not question myself and to stand up and and um, take a stand and be a little bit more Tom Petty about it don't back down any Tom Petty fans out there so let's say somebody does nope there's nobody out there that I've run into that is teaching how to deal with these situations I've used this example before, so I'll use it again, but Gary Vaynerchuk was like, follow your own voice. It's like, dude, not everybody knows what their own voice is because it's so muffled. So don't just say, like, follow your own voice. Say, like, give me an, an example of how to. So here's my how to example for running the opposite direction. If somebody tries to tell you who you are, don't back down. Live up to it. Say, yeah. That, that is how I am. Like, can you not handle that? Or um, say, yeah, I'm, I am like that sometimes. Or just like really live, 
live into it because if you back away from your own self if you turn your back on your own self it adds to the discomfort that you're already feeling and it already it also energetically tells the other person that you aren't you're kind of like wavering you're a little bit shaky you're not very strong in who you are and when people feel that you're not strong in who you are it's like everybody jumps in and tries to tear you apart um that sounds really dramatic and kind of morbid but the dark energy in this person is going to use that to latch on to the dark energy in you and it will kind of pull you apart and you'll stay in that area of self self doubt rather than just being like acceptance you want the other people to accept you for who you are but you need to accept you for who you are there's a there's a lot more to it but you accept yourself by just being accepting yourself in all of its states so if you're quiet love yourself when you're quiet if you're loud and rambunctious and causing a scene love yourself doing that um it's when we start to judge ourselves that we let other people tell us who and dictate who we are and maybe that comes from some childhood memories of uh like for me i know my family really picked apart i'm very sensitive my family didn't support me emotionally and who i was they're like eh you're like that and so we don't like you and as a little kid i wanted to do everything that would please my family and a recent event happened where i was like i it, i finally got it after 20 almost 30 years of being alive i finally got it my family is never going to like me they're never going to accept me and so i need to do everything and anything that i want first before i do anything for them because what i do and what i give to them will never be appreciated and i won't ever be respected if i don't stand true and tall in my own self so there's your lunch time <laughs> there's your lunch time um well this went from just you know like eating and talking about um an us an ex text uh to this deep conversation anyways that's the fun of these i knew i should film it for some reason and uh stay tuned for another video thank you actually i'm going to finish i'm going to finish my cauliflower i don't need a whole lot of protein but i realize that sometimes i crave it and so I used to go for like the the fish that tasted the best or the protein that tasted the best or was like usually had the most fat on it. But I'm really learning that I like to I really like to conserve my calories for things that I really 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 enjoy. And lately I've been enjoying these uh Justin dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And I eat both of them at the same time. I mean not like a sandwich, but Here, I'll show you. I keep them in the fridge because it gets hot in here during the day. Here we are. These are hard to find because nobody stocks the dark chocolate ones. Everybody stock them. Stock these. They're the best. Also because I can't have milk chocolate. Um because I'm allergic to dairy. But anyways, I just like to enjoy the things that I enjoy. So if I need protein, why go for like a better tasting one when I could just soup up my my protein? So I've been going for white fish because it's lower in calories and it still has like a good amount of protein. And sometimes, I mean, it doesn't really taste fishy. It's really light, so I like that. And all I do is I put olive oil with um with either of these seasonings. Uh this is the chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's. I literally put it on um I like this on the sole. Actually, I think I like the lemon pepper on the sole. Um and then I like this on uh sea bass. And they're both zero calories and they taste amazing. 
Um, I don't, I love salt, so they're salty. But um, yeah, anyways, that's what I do. There's your little health tip for the day. Anyways, all right, I'm done with my cauliflower rice, so I'm gonna get changed and go do uh, another video.